welcome to Paparazzi. We're live here at Cannabis Culture Headquarters in the Vapor Lounge in Vancouver, BC. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Can everybody in the chat hear us? Check, check, one, two. <laughs> We're good? We're good. Right. Sound. Great, thanks for tuning in today. We have a great show planned for you. Uh, big day tomorrow, 420. Cannabis Christmas. Without basically. Christ. Excellent. Also, when we were at Bar None, we did an interview with uh, Sweatshop Union. They were awesome. So you'll see that interview next week. Uh, this week you'll see the alcoholics. So also, yeah, 420 tomorrow. We have some other celebrity news, uh, which we can probably go right into. Let's discuss 420 a little bit, though. 420 okay. is, as everybody knows out there, I'm sure that's too Do you know how 420 started, Jordan? I think it was uh, like a cop. No, nope. 420 actually was created by a group of students at a college in San Francisco that they got out of class approximately at 415. So they'd always meet for a session at 420 on the school grounds. So these kids, simple thing, I'll see you at 420. And it has obviously blown up globally, not, with, not just within North America. So in Vancouver, we have a festival. Um, it's kind of like a open trade market where there's approximately 10 to 15,000 people that come in to the Vancouver Art Gallery. We all sell, share, trade cannabis, do everything that you would particularly want to do in a free world. It's quite the event. Everybody looks forward to it so much. It's a great way for the local cannabis businesses to expose themselves and let them know that they're out there. And it's also a great way for anybody who wants to get involved in the movement to get involved in the movement because me, myself personally, actually got involved at one of the rallies. And then within a couple of weeks, I had my job at Cannabis Culture. So we hope to see everybody there that's in the greater Vancouver area. And for anybody else who's outside of the Vancouver area, send us your pictures to Brittany Ann at paparazzi.ca and Jordan at paparazzi.ca. And we will upload it onto our next week's show. Yeah, another thing tomorrow we're doing, or Pot TV is doing a live stream all day uh, from the Georgia Hotel. So Brittany and I, I think, will be in and out of the room, um, giving updates. Jeremiah, Jody, um, all the wonderful people that you know and love will be on the show tomorrow on the live stream, talking about how the day's going. So you can see us there tomorrow too. We can also take footage and upload the videos as we're down there. Yeah, as well. we it's can. A great idea. Brittany and I will be at 420. We have a booth, uh, Metro Town Hemp Shop and Paparazzi. We'll have a booth together. So feel free to stop by and visit us. We'd love to see you guys. Actually, Kendra is coming down from San Francisco. Kendra, know, who gave Kendra. us the name for our show, she inspired us and told us, you can do it, you can do it, and yeah. here we are. So I'm very excited to spend some time with Kendra. Yeah. Perhaps maybe we can get an interview with her because Kendra, Kendra's with the Normal Woman's Alliance. She so, is, she's also an attorney yep. in uh, San Francisco. Yep. Very smart woman. Let's look so. into an interview with her. That would be awesome. I'm, yeah, I would like to see her. So, we have some uh, celebrity news about my girl, obviously. Um, you guys all know about Coachella, I assume. That was the whole Tupac hieroglyphic thing, which personally, I think that is so cool because you can have, say, the Lost Boys, any members of the Lost Boys that are passed away or say lost. Hi uh, hologram, not hieroglyphic. That's hieroglyphic. <laughs> That's <laughs> Egyptian. Oh yeah, so hologram, which technically it wasn't even a hologram. It was like lights bouncing off a mirror, bouncing off a screen. I think that's awesome. I would go to a biggie hologram. I almost said holographic again. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm obsessed with Egypt, so forgive me. Um, it would be amazing to go to a biggie hologram concert, Tupac, like any of those people. It would be phenomenal. So after the hologram concert, uh, our girl Rihanna went out and hung out with Snoop Dogg and here we have a picture of her with a big gigantic doobie in her mouth which is amazing 
Uh, thug life written on her stomach. Snoop Dogg's kind of holding her a little aggressively, but I'm sure it's all in fun, so media, don't take that and play it into a different way. There's no need for that. And then we have another photo of Rihanna, actually in the crowd. I love this. This, Which, is, this is at Coachella. I think for her to be in the crowd is amazing. So like that cool. is so cool for her to actually get down on the level instead of hiding on the backstage with all the other celebrities. Mind you, she is on her bodyguard shoulders, but she got down in the crowd and you can see the three shots here. Now take a look at the bottom shot. That is Rihanna rolling a blunt on her bodyguard's head. That is the best thing I've seen all day. Mind you, a lot of her fans on Instagram got upset about it and were like, what are you doing? You have role models, blah, blah, blah. If you've seen any of Rihanna's music videos within, what, would you say? Last like couple a, years. Last couple years, exactly. Yeah. Last two years, she's not about the children. She's yeah, kinda, she's pretty badass. Yeah, she's kind of like the Britney Spears, like when Britney Spears first came out. She was very schoolgirl, appealing to younger audiences. She's also really young. Right. As they grow up, their music grows up, their style grows up. She's willing to say, I smoke weed. Well, she, and she has a view, she has an opinion, she's allowed to do whatever she wants. She wants to do that in the public, good on you. Yep. I think that's great. Well, she deleted the picture off Instagram, but she also updated her Twitter status a couple hours later, later saying, what can I say? I do what I want, I'm crazy. Which, crazy? No, honey, you're just smoking weed, like that's pretty normal. But kudos to Rihanna to be at Coachella, open, tons of media everywhere for her to show this is what's going on. So congratulations to her, I think you're yeah, awesome. Yeah, I think it's awesome. If you ever come to, come to Vancouver, which I know you are on your new tour, Look we, want you. we want you. We want you. We want you. So this week we had an interview with the alcoholics. They were awesome. So, so awesome. Sunday we all drove up to Whistler, uh, had an interview with them. And sound check. Uh, yeah, we met with them before their sound check at Garfinkel's in Whistler. Um, did a little interview, stuck around for their sound check. All of it was awesome. They were great guys. We had a lot of fun with them. Uh, looking forward to when they're back. They actually asked us to maybe go on tour with them, do a little documentary of their performances across Canada, because as you know, we couldn't uh, do their performance performances throughout the States, because we can't go there, but. Um, well, I actually suggested that I would love to do document their tour, and Jay Rowe, who, shout out to Jay Rowe. He to is, all the guys. To all the guys. Yeah, they were so all great. amazing. They were so, they, made us feel like one of them. At totally. no point in time did I feel like an outsider. Um, I suggested j Ro, we should do a documentary on you, and he was like, you wanna know what, that would be cool. Because for them to bring all of their promoters or filmographers or all those people to come up and tour across Canada would be a little expensive. I think, he didn't mention that, but I think it would be a great opportunity for cannabis culture for us to go on tour, live the lives of the alcoholics. <laughs> They're like the alcoholics are legends. Um, they put on a great show. They they have great energy and 20 years. Yeah, they're celebrating their 20th year this year. So uh, they have a lot to be happy about. Yeah. So here's our alcoholics interview. We're just gonna cut to that right now. Marius, you're good. And I hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, Brittany and Jordan here from Paparazzi. We are here with the Alcoholics, so if Voila. you guys want to introduce yourselves. <laughs> what up? I'm J. Rowe in the hails. What's up? It's East Swift. What's up? This is Tash, my mama's best friend, homie. Oh. Mm. <laughs> no, fuck me. So welcome to Whistler. You guys came here from Kelowna, I believe? Yes. And that was a good Edmonton. show? No, I came from Edmonton. 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 And that yeah. was a good show oh, for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, then we were in Kelowna before that. All right, all right. Snow all the way up in Whistler. So you guys have been around for a long time, since 92. I believe you just said something about it being your 20 year anniversary. 20 years. 20 year anniversary. Let me tell you your age. They were 20 yeah. years. That's on his age. I'm just fine. I didn't tell my age. Do you have a Wikipedia page? We all do. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone know what is wrong? Yeah, so you have to edit it. You can do that. I this. tried and they, they edited it back wrong. Uh -huh. again, so I don't know. There should be like a login. Don't believe my Wikipedia page. It's wrong. Yeah, you've been around for a minute. For sure. There's a lot of people Thanks to this right here. That's you know, right. A gift from that helped out a little bit. Was it Papa? Uh, Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Paparazzi TV gave us this, so <laughs> you'll see what's going to happen tonight. And what do you guys think of this? That looks great. It smells, it smells delicious. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. I want to eat it. Mm. Mm. I want to make some brownies and shit. So you guys have obviously yeah. been smoking weed for a long time now? It's 
been uh, yeah, about two or three weeks. Yeah, we <laughs> really? So this is gonna be careful. Light doses, light doses. You know about the burning yeah. bush. The burning bush. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have a lot of weed influence in your music. Somewhat. Yeah. A lot of alcohol, a lot of weed, a lot of women, a lot, a lot of partying. Partying, partying. Partying bullshit, style. right? Yeah, That's what's up. The first thing, if you ain't got this, you ain't got no party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That helps the party. If you can have that and no drinks and no cocaine and nothing for the means and all that shit, you have that. You know, I actually, if I don't smoke weed while I'm drinking, I am a disaster. I black oh, out, I puke, I, I'm a mess. Hide the weed! Hide the weed! Hide the weed! Hide the Where's the Vegas? So how do you guys think that cannabis influences music? When did it start? Um, I mean, it started from the, the first person who picked up an instrument was high, I guarantee sure. you. But um, yeah, but I mean, jazz, you go back to jazz music, that's why it was considered bad, because they all smoke weed. You know? Yeah. And um, up, up until the day, you know, hip hop music. Chiba Chiba. Then it went on. Yeah. Chiba Chiba, you know, all, all the, all the uh, mentions of it. But then I think when uh, Cypress Hill came out, bam. Yeah. The world just, just the, the world accepted it as, you know, being cool. Yep. Yeah. And then other other artists follow suit, like Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, and all the yeah, OGs. Yeah, all that kind yeah. of thing. It was really taboo at first. Like, oh, you smoke weed, you're a stoner, you're a loser, or whatever. <laughs> well, well Nixon actually <laughs> made, created I'm that. Nice We're crazy like Mexicans when we smoke so marijuana, right? Right. Um, a rock, rock and roll guy said last week to me that he thought hip hop made, or made weed cool again. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. I'm with that. I'm with that. We made a lot of stuff. Yeah, cool. You made everything cool. You still making stuff cool. Yeah, you made baggy pants yeah. and wearing glasses. Wearing sunglasses in the hillside. Hillside. In the basement where there ain't no sun. That was one today. Yeah, yeah. Baggy pants on my baggy baggy pants. Oh, you're a Laker fan. I can't yeah. tell. Yeah. I, I think I think that even if hip hop, which is not going to do, so just don't twist my words around media. But we don't do that. Hip hop fell off today. We would still be around making everybody happy. Yeah. We've been here long before hip hop, so we're yeah. just keeping it going. Do you think the Lakers <laughs> smoke weed? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A lot of basketball players. A lot of well, basketball we actually players. have a hemp Everybody store. Everybody smokes weed. We sell drug hey, tests. Like figure skaters. Things, so I know that. I know that it's available. Figure skaters <laughs> oh, yeah. smoke the most weed. What? Yeah. Really? Who Aren't they mainly scared? females? That's why they're spinning around. Like that. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you. Now you guys are really open with your marijuana use, and you talk a lot about it in the public. Do you guys find it hard to cross the border ever? Mm, you know, I mean, we we you know we had our problems before, yeah. but not not never to the extreme as we've crossed it so we're many times. We're banned now. Yeah, so, pretty nice. We're all out in the U.S. We've cr oh, crossed wow. the border so many times. You know, we got touch a lot. Been there, done that. It's all good. Yeah. And we yeah. try to keep, keep that. Keep, you know, but one day I'll be like 60 at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> 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 like yeah, with the holidays. Going. <laughs> 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 but you know, I can say right now that we're like we're good coming over here. I mean, we're here obviously. So yeah, yeah. well, Canada's Canada's a lot more lax, right? Mm -hmm. If you're American coming into Canada, chances of you are get, getting denied are very slim, unless you have gun charges because our gun laws are a lot different here. You'll get in big trouble and don't even try. So. Um, not loud, pretty much. That's <laughs> good you guys are loud and don't have problems. But Canada yeah, is nice. We love Canada. What's your criminal love? Canada. Canada. I love Canada. You do love Canada? I love Canada. We love Canadians. I love, love Canadians. Mm. They're so nice. I like them nice. Uh, it's, it's, everyone always treats us, treat us so nice. And uh, we've been coming out here so long. One year we did a we did a tour of Canada from, from the west to the east. Came back the same year and did it again. You know, because it was so much fun. Yeah, and, and the shows were just as packed. People was crazy, all that. So uh, you know, Canada always showed us love, so we always come back. Yeah, I even rapped last night with Point. Who was out of home? Cologne, not Cologne, but um, Edmonton. Edmonton last night and everything. I rapped about how much love I get in Canada and everything. Like, it us, like not just me, us and everything, and put. The bats blew up in the motherfucking shit. Like yeah. the beer out here, and, you know. It's like, like all that U.S. Canada. I feel like we in the U.S. for some reason. Yeah. yeah. Except y'all yeah. say a boat. A uh, boat. No, we don't. It's a boat. <laughs> I'm a boat. It's a boat. I'm a boat. To go. I'm a what about A? I'm a boat. I'm a boat. Go take a piss. You know what? Who's I, 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 I was like, A. I was like, but that's. It's like. 
it's kind of like us confirming that we know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, look. Okay, Tisha, you gotta say hey real quick. Tisha, you gotta say hey. Like, uh, give me a sentence that you was. Just talk to her and say something uh, and say it's something. It's a really nice day out today, eh? Okay. It's like a question. And I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you some LA, okay? Okay, go ahead, bring it. Alright, because we're gonna let's see who's accent. Alright. Okay. I can <laughs> even I can even mock you perfectly. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a really nice day out today, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's because you're like all gangster. We're just like, oh, look at this. That was gangster. It's such a nice day out today. Uh, well, okay. Yo, cuz, yo, cuz, it's a nice day out today, eh? You know, I'll, I'll do you guys. I'll do you guys. Day A. Lakers just played today. They won, obviously. So excited. Oh, Represent. Look at the camera. Like you need a beer. Hey. <laughs> Eh? That's what's up, eh? See? Yeah, no. Get gangster with me. Let's hear this one. Let's hear this one. Let's hear this one. Let's talk about the look. Alright, wait. That's the host, man. What project? Go ahead. Mary Jane. You can ask us a question. I'm scared. You guys like me? No, I... Obviously. Do you guys love me? I love we. Mary Jane is my life. We, the center focus of... My universe, yes. We've made it our career. Um, I would, but I don't think that it would... Ew, I was just going to say a big nod. Yeah, she was. <laughs> 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 yeah, so now you give me a 420 baby. Oh, no, you're getting back, baby. Oh, my God. Yeah. Really it could be, um, I love you, Mary Jane. It could be a tribute. It could be, yeah, no. Do that again, say that again. What? I love you, I love you, Mary Jane. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you, 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 all right, well, thanks oh, yeah, so much for coming. Thanks for having us. So we're nice we're booked to do something. Yeah, we're going to check in. 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 Uh, boogers don't know. Looks good to me. All right, dig it. <laughs> oh, really? That's cool. So welcome back from our alcoholics interview. I hope you all enjoyed it. They were honestly probably the most down-to-earth hip-hop artists we've met so far. They were super chill. They were great. And they were all characters, and they were really involved in the interview, and they loved it. Yeah. So really happy about that. I'd say j Ro is like the comedic aspect I don't know though, Tash is pretty uh, involved. He's he's eccentric and hilarious. They all are. Yeah. I think if you're a performer like that, you have to be. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we got to experience sound check with them, which was really, really fun. I love sound check. I want to do everyone's sound check. It was awesome. Yeah, I got up on the mic and acted like I was all... Pretty wrapped. Yeah, little Kim. I don't know if we have the little Kim rap, but I'm gonna I'm gonna practice my skills before I do that again. Yeah, Brittany rapped. It was awesome. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. So here is the alcoholic sound check. <laughs>
Welcome back. Sorry about that. Thank you, Jeremiah, for keeping us busy while we were working out our techn technological technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Brittany I'm having just, technical difficulties. Brittany now. just celebrated uh, 420. So, and we just got Ooh, a delicious, we just got a, a nice little present from Al the Alchemist. Thank you, popping in there to say hello. <laughs> well, You're right there, girl. Yeah, I'm good now. Okay, okay good. Okay, good. Okay. Party so, time's over. Um, we did the sound check. Loved it. So much fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and then we watched the show after that, and the show was awesome. We had a good time. We have uh, the clip Garfinkels. Yep. Yeah, we have the clips for the show next week. Yeah, we'll see those clips next week. So we did have some other news. Um, in Canada, Kingston Penitentiary is scheduled to close in about two years. So Kingston holds 421 prisoners, hmm. which is quite significant. Some famous... Paul Bernardo. Yeah, Paul Bernardo. St. Catharines, Catharines and Burlington, actually. It was weird because I grew up in St. Catharines. And then a high school I went to, Leslie Mahaffey actually went to. Oh, so I no felt way. like find, just because Paul Bernardo was so influential in those two places, I felt a kind of a connection. Yeah, of course. Me too. I'm from that area also. So Paul Bernardo, if you don't know, um, raped and killed two girls in St. Catharines, Ontario. So he's in that prison. Um, so they're planning to close Kingston Penitentiary in two years, and that leads to the big question, where do all those prisoners go? Where do future prisoners go? Because, um, as you know, Stephen Harper has his new tough on crime laws. So more people going to jail and now less prison space. How convenient. Well, they're building a bunch of prisons right now, so it's the question. And the government says that they are not building prisons, so yeah. that doesn't mean we're going to we're going to have a whole bunch more companies like the Geo Group coming in who Mark was famously imprisoned by down south and treated very very negatively. Now he's in a prison in Yazoo City, Mississippi, which is actually treating him very well. He enjoys it. Is as it much, a band? As much as you can enjoy a prison, of course. Yeah. So all of us are really thinking about Mark um, over the next few days with 420 and him not being here, it's definitely... The ring later of yeah, 420. Yeah, he started it, so we're all thinking about Mark and um, hope he's okay and uh, he's definitely here in spirit with us and uh, definitely uh, everyone's thinking about him. Speaking of which, CannabisCulture.com store now has the new female beaters with the free Mark shirts on them, Sweet. which is awesome. What does it say on the bar? It Back. says, I believe... Plant seeds of freedom overgrow the government. Yeah. Perfect. So you can get that on Cannabis Culture's website or in their store on 307 Hastings Street. West Hastings. And I'm pretty sure we'll have them for sale at the booth tomorrow. Might not. Don't quote me, but yeah. It'd be nice. Um, so yeah, 420 tomorrow. Big day for all of us. It's, it's like how the mall prepares for Christmas. The stoners prepare for 420. <laughs> so when all the malls are putting up all the ornaments and Christmas trees, we're cutting down all of our Christmas trees, <laughs> <laughs> getting everything all ready to go. It's a very, very exciting Wrapping thing. Wrapping presents. Wrapping presents. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually, I'm going to film a good segment for you tomorrow. We have yeah. a stage pass provided by Mr. Jacob Hunter. Thank you so much Thanks, for helping Jacob. us. So we're gonna record a great segment for you guys for next week, as well as we have uh, some more 
for yeah, the alcoholics. Yeah, we have sweat, uh, Alcoholics and Sweatshop Union next week. We had a great interview with Sweatshop Union when they were at Bar None on Tuesday night. And they are interested in having another interview with us in the future. So hopefully they'll come into the lounge. We can sit down, not be so rushed. They had a show to do, so we didn't have as much time as we probably could have had. Which they're local, so that'll be really Yeah, amazing. they're from Vancouver. They live here. So we're hoping to have them in Cannabis Culture headquarters in the future. As well as uh, the Rascals. Yeah. Red one. Red one. We got you, gonna, boy. We're going to be here in a couple weeks. Yeah, we'll see in you between soon. Us. Right here. Yeah. Paparazzi sandwich. Don't you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, we do have another clip um, from Anonymous. If you guys don't know Anonymous, it's a famous hacker group. Um, and they are for the people. They've hacked big companies like the CIA and they're now launching CIA. a CIA. Yeah. It's not even a company. That's like government oh, shit. Oh, it's crazy. They can do anything. They're so powerful and um, they're doing a lot of good. So they are launching a new project tomorrow. So I'm going to show you that clip and everybody get their Facebook profile covers ready for tomorrow and uh, take a look at this clip. It's awesome. Dear citizens of the world, for far too long, cannabis has been oppressed by big corporations, big pharma and governments when it could be benefiting all of mankind, in many different levels. We have heard, and we have watched your government lies and deceived you, on all of the dangers of cannabis. Show support by making your profile pictures green this 20th April, on your social network profiles. Operation Cannabis Phase 1. Initiated. We are anonymous. Expect us. <laughs> we should do the like, oh my god. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I can't wait to see what they're going to do. Really excited about it. They're a great group and uh, support them, like them on Facebook. Speaking of fa Facebook, like us on Facebook, Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Also on Twitter, Paparazzi on Twitter. Twitter. Um, and any fan mail you can direct to Brittany or I, Brittany Ann at paparazzi.ca or Jordan at paparazzi.ca. And uh, we can read fan mail live. <laughs> or comments, so be careful. Like, yeah, we might read your comment. Like, oh my God. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we might come up with a new segment called like oh my god and we're kind of excited about that it's gonna be really exciting we're gonna read all your guys' comments on the cannabis culture website facebook live stream we're gonna collaborate on them all and we'll probably pick out the best three yeah or two maybe right now because we're just starting to build our audience yeah. of your comments and we'll comment back like it, it could be like a chat thing going on yeah live chat so we want to hear what you have to say direct any comments questions anything anything to us and we'll get back to you and we were also just discussing as we came back on live we weren't aware we were live the clip ended too quickly we're sorry but we're gonna bring guests that stream back next week so uh we're gonna might secretly shh Perform, perform some stunts tomorrow at 420. Just see how it's going. Like ask some people some questions and yeah. stuff. Have some good fun. So I'm really excited about that. Guess that straight next week, 4 p.m. Pacific. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thanks everybody in the chat, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Or tomorrow at 420. Yep, live streaming from Jeremiah Vandermeer Show, CCNN, airing at 4 p.m. on Fridays and all day tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.